Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's Marianne with Cooking with Marianne, or I don't know what I call it. And believe me, I'm not an expert at cooking, but I'll share with you what I know. And today I'm going to make uh, stuffed peppers. It's a little warm yet, but it's one of our favorites, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to share the, uh, what I put in, so in the stuffed peppers. I stuff it with rice and chopped meat, which I'm going to brown this chopped meat. I already have the rice cooking. I cook it a little bit that it's um, still a little hard because when it cooks with the, inside the pepper, it's going to take a little bit longer. Can I just For interfere me, one second? Sure, I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, some people in the country, I don't think they call that chopped meat. They call it ground oh, beef. Ground beef. So oh, I just don't, I don't, Yeah, I don't know. We, my mother always said chopped meat, That's but what I we think said, it is so. ground beef. Okay. So the rice, the chopped meat, or the ground beef, I'm going to add to I'm going to um, cut this very fine. I'm going to add that to the chopped meat, the rice. I have here some of my um, gravy that I already made to, you know, for the, um, I add that into the pepper mixture and I'll also cook with some of that on the bottom. You can or cannot, this is grated Parmesan cheese. I add that to the stuffing as well because we love that. Okay, salt and pepper. And I'm also going to add garlic and garlic powder to that. And so the, so basically the inside of the pepper is going to be rice chopped meat or ground beef, onion, a little bit of tomato sauce, some grated cheese to your liking. If you don't like it, don't put it in. Salt and pepper and also garlic. Okay, now when I do the pepper, what's funny about this is I always look, and it's a little bit of a pain and I'm sure people in the market hate it because I always look for the one that has four so that when I cut it, it lays flat in my pan. So I keep try. I always kind of look to see which one? So I'm just going to cut one for you here so you can see. So let me just get this out of the way because we're not using this right now. So I'm going to cut it this way. Some people actually will also boil them because the pepper goes through. And I have a little garbage can here. Some people do the top. So if you want to do the top, you can do the top and then stuff it. I do it on the side. You mean cut it like a cap? Yes, but I always do it on the side because you get more stuffing in it. But I mean, you can do it the other way and then also cook it on the stove top. I'm going to, I take a little bit of this vein out and then just bang here. And I have my little garbage can here. So this, so basically, and then I'll wash them again. And then when I lay them, so you can just see, so it'll lay like so, but actually I'll try to match it. I might be able to get, I think I'm going to have to actually do two pans. And, um, but you can, if you wanted to cut it like, and this, if that's why it's also good when you have that because it'll sit perfect. You see what I'm talking about? The reason, see, I don't do this because I like the whole pepper in the pan, but I guess if you did it on the stove top, that would be fine as well. So, I mean, there's so many different ways and there is no right or wrong way. It's whatever way you were taught and also whatever way that you watched it. You know what was crazy? Growing up, my mother always cooked, my mother and grandmother, and so I wasn't really paying not that I didn't pay attention, I enjoyed the food, but I never, never focused on, I did other things in the house, so I didn't go through. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to wash these, and then I'm going to line this whole pan, so you don't have to come for that. So I'm going to see, I might even be able to see here, you can put double in, and this way when I, so like I can actually do a third one here, so I might be able to fit a little bit more in the pan. So I'll show you what that is, and I do stuff these a lot, I give it like a little mound, because it's then like a whole meal. You got your vegetable, you got your meat, you got your uh, carbohydrates. The, so it just goes through. And then this, I actually then keep a garbage thing here and I just throw it as I go in so it doesn't get the, se the seeds all over. And that's it. So let me get some of this going and then when I get it down to, and I'm gonna season this meat with salt and pepper and the garlic. And then I actually, for me, for us, we do, I kind of drain a lot of that great, you're going to see fat come out of here, and we don't use the fat. What I did was, this is three pounds of chopped meat, so I used, I have a rice cooker, so I'm using three little cups of this. So three to three pounds, like so, you know. A pound people, of rice to a pound of yes, meat? Yes, but this is not really a full cup, and what I'll do is as I cook it, I add the rice almost to like it's a 50-50 mixture. Like half chopped meat, half rice. So you can do that by eye. If I have rice left over, I'll use it in the like an egg frittata or something like that. Because you always know I make eggs for everything. 
All right, okay. so you're gonna clean the rest of the peppers, and then you'll show gonna, them how the yep, I'm how gonna you clean do the meat. The rest of the peppers. I'm, then I also with here. I'm also gonna rinse these to make sure to get everything out of it, and then I'll rinse the pan too. I just put them in this pan so that you can see how it can go through, and I kind of try it ahead of time so I can see how it fits. And you're gonna see when you go to buy the peppers, you're not gonna find a lot with the four little nubs, but I like that because of that. And again, if you have a pan, a pot, and you want to put it on the pot, you could probably get four of these in the pot like this and then just you know cut it and put the, the stems back in so you can do that as well all right so we'll see you in a little bit then okay the back Miriam okay so I'm just showing you I have the, the chopped meat in the frying pan getting ready I'm gonna add the salt pepper and the, I'm gonna get garlic and you see I have the rice cooked here and it is it's still a little hard so, and I want it like that. I want it so it's kind of parboiled, I guess, but it's not boiled, it's from there. So I'm gonna brown this, and then I'm also gonna uh, cut up the onions so while this is going, and then we'll be back again, because this takes a few minutes, unless you wanna see it cook the whole time. No, okay. No, I'm teasing. Okay, all right. And okay, we're back. So what I did was I, I um, I forget, what is this called again? Chopped meat, ground, ground beef. Ground beef. So, and you'll see there's a little bit of pink because it doesn't have to be overcooked. I drained it, but yeah, I'm still draining it because you see all the fat that's still coming out, but I already drained a lot and I let that stay in there. What I did was now I transferred the onions back right into the same frying pan that I cooked the chopped meat, ground beef. And I washed my peppers and I have them ready. I was a little overzealous, so I had an extra. So you kind of just look at what you need. Sometimes these were a little bit smaller because, again, I wanted the four knobs. So these are ready, and I turned them over. So And the water on the bottom is fine. So they were all washed and clean. This was all washed and clean. I'm going to cook the onion. I'm going to put the chopped meat back in with a little bit of gravy on the rice. But So you'll see that. So I'm just going to saute this until it's translucent because, remember, it's still going to cook. Because I'm gonna bake the, I'm baking the, the okay, peppers. Peppers, sorry. So I'm gonna bake it. So they're still gonna cook a little bit. So I chop this kind of fine, and again, as much or as little as you want. I've left a little bit of the oil from or the grease from the chopped meat or the ground beef, and if I think I need it, sometimes what I do is I put water in because it just cuts down on the fat, and the water just softens up the onions as well. Okay, so we'll be back when that's done, and I'll show you when I add the rice and the chopped meat, and then on to stuffing, and that'll be good. And you'll see that that was a lot of peppers, but that'll make at least two meals. So when I try to put them in that glass container, because then we'll, we'll eat that another day, which is also good. So I did, that's on purpose, making the extra, because while I have the mess, I would rather have than two days. And I will add some salt to this as well. Okay, but I think I'm going to cook this in a little bit of water because there's enough grease in the chopped meat already. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, so I just steamed this. I put a drop of oil and I did it with some water. So you see that's enough because again, it's going to cook. So I'm going to add the chopped meat mixture. I'm going to lower this. I'm going to add the chopped meat mixture and you're going to see that, that oil there. So that's why I said you don't have to add this in. And then what I'm going to do is look add the um, rice but I kind of do equal parts and then I'll do some cheese the tomato sauce and so I don't let me get this mixed a little bit and then we'll put it back it's more than again I told you it's wow that's hot don't leave your thing in there because it gets too hot I probably used a bigger pan last time this was like three pounds of chopped meat but the chopped meat was on sale so she meant but, don't leave your spatula in that yeah, yeah not your because thing. this metal this this met the metal got a little hot because I had to go get the cameraman so he's I was outside putting mums see, on see now the you'll steps. see it looked like a lot it looked like a lot of onion but it's not a lot of onion and then what I'm going to mix the other and then I'll, I'll show you the stuffing so we'll put not the stuffing the rice mixture with it by the way this tastes delicious without it so if there's going to be extra it's not a problem because you just eat it like that and then we'll get rid of that and then then what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you want to watch this, but see, you'll see, it doesn't look like a lot of onion now, right? And then what I'll do nope. is I'm going to add the rice to it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, let me just, I'll just show you. So what I do is, and I'm going to take, oh, the rice got hard already. I'm going to have to break it apart because I made this a little bit. 
Okay, and then just break it and then I'm going to work it in. And then when I get the, I'll show you the even, kind of even mixture. You can do as much if you like. A lot of people don't do as much meat. I, like I see the, the stuffed peppers in, like sometimes they're already prepared. So I'll just break this down and then we'll see you in a few minutes. And then I went, all right, and then I'll show you. I'm going to add the, a little bit of tomato sauce so that it gives it some moisture. And also the grated cheese because we love cheese. Okay. Good? Yep, that's it okay, for now. Okay, we'll be back then. Okay, we're back. Okay, so I just finished tasting it. It's very good. As you can see, I had to transfer it to this bigger pot. I got a little overzealous, so if you don't have to... But this one makes it easier to get the stuff out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some tomato sauce or, um, you know, whatever you have. If you have gravy, whatever kind of gravy or... Um, Pasta sauce or right, but some people, you know, we're we're uh, that section of Italians that call tomato sauce gravy. That's what yeah. we call it, and I know sometimes that confuses people. Uh, you know, because it's it's see, like now, tomato but, sauce. <laughs> okay, so sorry, but now you'll see it's kind of like a a fifty fifty blend. For me, that's what we we like. Now, if you like more rice, you can do more rice. So just make sure you mix it well. Now, what I'm going to do is add some uh, grated cheese. And then a little bit of tomatoes and, uh, the, you know, the spaghetti sauce or gra ragu. I don't, what do you call it? I don't even know. I don't know whatever they whatever, use. Wh you know, whatever you use If you to make your pasta. own, use your own. But if you right. don't, you can use right. so something I have, in a bottle, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to just show you. Hold on a second. So I'm just going to show. I'm going to pour some of this in. And then I'm going to mix it. And then I'm going to also get the che grated cheese. See, so that just gives it... The Italian, the Italians like gravy, tomato, Italian like, Italians like tomatoes on everything. So I'm probably going to put more in and let me get, I'm going to get the grated cheese first and then I'll show you the finished product, okay? Pause it. All right, good. So I'm, I'm probably adding too much cheese, but okay. What kind this of cheese is, is that again? This one is Romano, but I'm also going to add a little Parmesan and then I'm going to put some on the top as well. So... It just, again, you can leave this part out if you don't want it. If you we don't just, like cheese. And right. the only thing is, like I would say is, uh, you know, if you're sensitive to salt, as I have become, I used to be the salt meister, but now with uh, my pressure, I can't do that anymore. Remember that cheese adds Right, salt. that's why I didn't, I didn't over salt the meat. And like, so if you do a lot of salt on the meat, so you just have to be aware, of, yeah, you know, don't, conscious Don't over salt it or I'm gonna the cheese because it'll be bad. More, yeah. But you know what? So, and then I didn't put any in my in this case. I didn't put any. Um, but you can put um, some salt in the rice. Yeah. I didn't do that either. So I, you have to kind of decide where you. You're but I think most everything. Italians would would f fight mice over cheese. I think you know, nobody oh likes cheese more than. I'm just gonna do a little bit more gravy, and then you the tomato sauce, and you'll I'll show you stuffing. Okay. I'm pausing it. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're back. Okay, so what I did was I put some uh, tomato, I chopped tomatoes on the bottom of the pan so the, the, you know, the peppers don't stick. I put a generous amount of the filling into the pepper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this. If you don't want, you, I sometimes do parchment paper, then aluminum foil. Cook it for about 45 minutes until you see a knife go through the pepper where it's tender. Because remember, the inside is cooked already. I will probably put, when I take it out, I'm going to put a slice of cheese on it, and you'll see that part at the end. And um, then enjoy, okay? I hope you like this recipe, everybody. We'll see it at the end when it's oh, all okay. cooked, right? You know if, yes, I'll yes. show you at the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, Marianne. Okay, so what I did was I topped it with provolone cheese, and I'm just putting a little bit of the tomato sauce on top. Whatever's left, I'm going to throw on the, on the bottom. And then we're going to throw it in the oven to bake. All right, okay? so once again, it's 350, 350 for 45 minutes, you said? About 45 minutes. So you, And then I'm going to uncover it the last few minutes and just, you know. And you're going to cover it with parchment paper? I'm gonna, I and do the, yes, I do the parchment paper on top because this way the aluminum foil is not, not there's no aluminum foil on top of the, there's no aluminum foil on top of the, the tomatoes, sorry. Yeah. Because sometimes the aluminum yeah, that, reacts. the tin with the okay. tomato is not good. So, and then okay. it, yep, that's it. So my other thing. Okay, we're back, Marianne. Okay, so this is the finished product. I took the, the cover off. And then I have the second ones here. We're going to try this. It looks good. 
So I told you the rice would cook, and then we're going to cut into this. It, that top piece fell off because of the cheese. So I will try a piece, and if I say it's bad, oh my God, really good. Yeah, and I can't wait, so let's hurry up with this video. <laughs> so again, I cooked this about 45 minutes, but you can even let it go a little bit longer, depends on your pepper. Some people do boil the pepper before. Mm -hmm. I don't boil the pepper, and I just did a little bit of gravy on the top or tomato sauce on the top, and you'll see it has a little bit, it just makes a little bit of broth. So if you like that broth, you put it on. Hope you try it. Send Joe a text message or a text. Comment on Comments it. to Joe. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, I guess you could eat somewhere else or try something else. Did so you want to show the other thing you made while oh. I was at the gym? Mm -hmm. I, I left while she was doing that and she made something else. So uh, we're gonna, I'm going to have to catch it next time uh, she makes this again. This is really, really good too. This is a dessert. Well, It's actually a mm. breakfast, but a kind of dessert. It's baked French toast, like a pan, but I use panettone and old bread. And I did a praline uh, topping. It smells delicious, but it puffed up. It was so high. So now I have to clean the stove. That's really good. It's made with panettone, like she said. And are those are pecans? Pecans, yep, and brown sugar. And it's actually, it's called baked French toast, but I'll do this one day. This is great for a holiday. So it's similar to bread pudding or it's French toast. Some people like it for the French toast. You'll yeah. see. It's the toast it, it smells like a holiday. Mm -hmm. and, well, actually, it smells like a bakery and when you walk about, in the house. It's about 5,000 tons. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and you make that the day before. You, I mixed it the day before and I just baked it now because yeah. I had the oven on. Well, we'll do one of those. Okay, so hope you try this and I hope you like it. And I use the red to, uh, peppers only because I think they're sweeter. But you can use the green as well. Okay, okay? but don't forget to uh, su subscribe and put the notification bell on for all the decorations and the cooking and the uh, Joe and Mary Ann show stuff. <laughs> and um, we'll be seeing you really soon. Okay, everybody, take Don't care. Ciao.